Stage two locks load complete. And there's the call that stage two locks load is complete. You excited? Yeah. Falcon is now fully loaded with all of its propellants. Yeah, we'll we'll begin shortly. Expect loud venting. Announcement to let the crew know that as we vent off various lines on the uh, launch pad, we'll hear some loud noises. Let the crew know that's planned. We're also right now draining the liquid oxygen out of the transporter erector, draining the lines, getting ready for launch. Waiting for the startup call at T minus one minute. You want to do that? I go to space. Yeah. High five. Seconds. Punch it, SpaceX. It's already on zero. Almost. T minus 15 seconds. <laughs> come here! Come here! Come back here! Look at your balls pitching down range. Hey, look, yeah, we're, we're good, it's ready to go. Yeah, it's long for is on Yeah, I don't know if you'll see it, but it's kind of tight yet, T plus 30 seconds. Highlights indicate nominal. The Stark Mission playing the Inspiration 4 crew on board Yay! Dragon and Dragon Hands. Thank you for the Thank you, Thank you. We're aiming to down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Push the rocket. Right there. Yeah, that's a camera looking down at the rocket. That's a camera on the outside looking down at the rocket. It's Daddy. attached to the side. Yeah, it's attached to the side. We're through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. Yeah, watch. Watch. We throttle back up and one Bravo, the call out from space. That's one of the abort sequences. That is a nominal call. Everything continues to be good. How fast you're going. Almost 2,000 miles per hour right now. Looks like a smooth ride for the crew. Woo, look at that rocket. I don't think you can see that side, do you? Go look and see if the call out is over See if you could see it. Our hey, engines are throttling down for G limiting. Four G's, so we're holding it there for the crew. Major event coming up will be main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, looking at the second stage engine nozzle, and then ignition no. of the second stage. Yeah. I don't think and it's Nico. cloudy out where we are. Stage Look how hot 
Look how hot that engine is. Yes, yes. Very hot. Officially, the Inspiration 4 crew are now on their way to space. First thing to do now on the left hand side of your screen is making it its uh, way back down what? to Earth. The they have popped out with the steering. It's the and gravity. Attempt on our drone ship just huh? Construction. Yeah, now there won't be any gravity up there. So they'll float. They'll float. Yeah, their hair will float. But yeah. there's gravity over here. Yeah, right here. Woo. Come on. What? What? This is the side bottom the rocket. It's on coming right back to Earth. The that's is that's the rocket where the, uh, the engine or the, on the, opposite the end other that engine the crew is going The second there. stage and the crew, which sits on top of the second stage, everything looks to be going normal, uh, <laughs> normally uh, with them. Uh, okay. And you can also track the velocity on the second stage on the bottom right hand side of the screen. And we also have awesome views of the crew inside of their capsule as well. I'm pretty sure during first stage ascent, I saw Dr. Okay, Sian Proctor. I'm pretty sure I saw Dr. Sian Proctor give us a two thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure she enjoyed this ride that she's been waiting for her entire life. Yes. Uh, one notable thing too is we're getting some twilight views. Um, the sun just set in Florida, but we're high hey, enough. Hey. Um, uh, up where uh, the light around the horizon is also reflecting off of very high altitude objects such as the first and second Ooh. stages. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Love to hear that call out. Trajectory nominal from the mm -hmm. Hey, also you gotta watch, right? Really up there Come on. Really up there now. Well past. Oh, the call out. Acquisition signal, New Hampshire. Just before that view hey, switched, hey, we saw some uh, teammates for three days actually. Yeah, three days. You know what they're gonna do? They look like a lot of stuff. Um, and their journey isn't over. They're gonna and, play. Hey, Seven no, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're gonna play. They're gonna look at the Earth. Yes, Maybe uh, they'll say hi, James, as they go by. First stage. You know? Uh, it's gonna be performing a re-entry burn. And now look at the city that you made. And uh, Woo! Yeah, yeah city. To slow down the first stage it before it re enters nice. the denser parts yeah, of the atmosphere. Well. Um, yeah, a few minutes later, it will execute a landing burn and make an attempt to land on our drone ship that's currently parked in the Atlantic Ocean. Do you know SpaceX, what color that is? What color? Tan. Oh! What is tan? Look at this. So far. I'm just going to say, so far, everything looking great for the Inspiration4 crew, hearing that everything is proceeding nominally there with the second stage, which is what you see on the right-hand side. That it, proportion is nominal. I was just going to say that MVAC engine, uh, we just heard now, is looking nominal. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? You want to do that? Huh? About a minute left to go before the you first stage performs its yeah. uh, first burn. And then Puppy and Bear Bear will be You going to take Puppy Dog and Bear Bear with you? Puppy and Dog and Bear are going to be watching on the computer uh, and he's like, Hi, Jay. Uh, oh, they're going to be here on Earth. Uh, oh, okay. And, and, guide, uh, and, and, then, it, and then they're going to fly their mini rocket and go to mine. Oh, wow. Nice. We have a mini rocket. Back down there. <laughs> it says. There's the crew on the right hand side of your screen. I think I see some more thumbs up there. <laughs> Dr. Proctor is clearly excited that she's finally in space. Uh, again, this mission Which will be orbiting Earth for three days, uh, and they will be at an altitude of 575 kilometers. Which, if I remember correctly, John, I you said that that is okay. the distance from Los Angeles to no, the Golden Ford's Gate Bridge. There you go. Ford? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you'll be riding a Ford <laughs> spaceship, <laughs> but a NASA spaceship. Oh, here, here. This is the bottom rocket landing back on Earth. Look at that. Look. Stage has already separated from the second stage. So the first stage. 
is uh, making its way back to Earth, trying to land, and the second oh, stage, yeah. everything is going well. It is headed into orbit with the crew on board. Actually, yeah. there on your screen, uh, you can see a sunrise on the horizon there uh, with planet Earth uh, just behind the glowing M back engine. Stage two is internal guidance. Hello, on stage two and terminal guidance. Hey, buddy. Uh, we're at the altitude. We're working the angular momentum we need to get into the right orbit. And if you're wondering, crews pull about three and a half Gs right now, less than they took on the first Look. day flight. So in about 15 seconds, we are expecting... Fast. Copy, Shannon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we are expecting... The impact to throttle down and cut off in an event called second engine cutoff, and then we'll wait for the confirmation of, of good orbit. At the same time, the first stage uh, will be uh, beginning its landing burn. And here we have the impact. We just saw that it um, shut off its engine. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Sissy missed it. Oh. You can watch it again. So there's that MVAC engine, like we mentioned before, it has already shut down uh, in an event known as second engine cutoff. And the crew are now gliding, if you will. Now, one thing right now is we're coming up uh, just uh, under 11 minutes in the flight. We're waiting another minute and a half or so before we get into uh, the separation sequence. 